Um, we start at Python, we import our namespace, and then we can use simple features like uh, Python's own DIR function to be able to search this. So we see a bio inside that. We see multiple sequence alignment and sequence information inside this namespace produced by a vendor called UC Santa Cruz. Oh, they've got a large set of, of data in there. We can ask for additional information by using a directory function that will take additional arguments, for example, asking for this information to be returned as a dictionary. So for one particular data set, I ask for some more details by asking for this as a dictionary. Mm -hmm. I can see exactly what I'm going to be getting. And now if I actually want to get the data, it's really just a matter of saying the name of the data set that I want as it appears within this namespace. And then I just add a constructor uh, syntax on that to actually tell it that I want to construct this. So um, now we can start using this data. This is a simple example of simply pulling out uh, chromosome 1 of the human genome from a 17 vertebrate genome alignment. This is a data set that's probably maybe half a terabyte in size. And now um, we can ask for additional information for mapping, for example, I, what I'd like to be able to do is I'd like to be able to get the identifier back from any individual sequence object. So you can see this prov provides the reverse mapping. I give it the sequence object, it gives me back the original ID that finds that sequence. Now I start slicing this data. I take a little interval of chromosome 1 out of the 3 billion bases in the human genome. And now we just performed the query that's searching this comparative genomics 17 genome alignment. And now it'll start actually showing us some results. So what I'm going to do here is I'll get the source interval that's aligned to a destination interval in some other genome. And I'll ask also for edge information describing the nature of that alignment. So you can see that right away we can fully mine the data in all the different kinds of ways that scientists would be used to doing in this kind of a comparative genomics analysis. So I'll just print out the alignments. Maybe I'll show one piece of sequence its ID aligned to another piece of sequence, its ID, and then maybe I'll give the level of sequence similarity between those. And of course, the standard Python operations of asking for a string from an object, mapping it, to, uh, in this case, to get its identifier, and um, the edge information provides methods for being able to get the identity. So um, now it's going and querying back to uh, the XML RPC services and getting us all of our alignments. <clears throat>